Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's look at the problem ten in chapter nineteen. Chapter nineteen is about heat, thermodynamics, uh, the first law of thermodynamics, right? So we can see we have samples of copper, aluminum, and the water, and then we find when we give them when they absorb the same amount of the heat, the temperature rise is the same. Now we need to find the ratio of the masses. So we can write down the first law of thermodynamics, Q equal to C M dot T, and then convert it, we get the function for mass, M equal to Q divided by C dot T. So Q is a heat, C is specific heat, and the dot T is a temperature change. Now we need to find the ratio for the masses, so we just introduce this term, this function Q equal divided by C dot T for copper, aluminum, and water. They see, it tells us for the same temperature rise, the same temperature difference, the heat is the same. So we can see Q dirty, Q dirty, cancel the cancel the Q dirty, cancel the cancel. So we can clean it. It can be simplified as this one, right? Input is the specific heat for copper, aluminum, and water inside. We can get the answer. And luckily, we have this chart. You can see. Then we can get the specific heat for the copper. See there, 387. Aluminum heat, specific heat, we check out the textbook there, 900. Now next one, the water specific heat there, uh, the maximum. The 4,186. So input them inside, we can get the final answer there. Thank you.